one um, is a feature documentary movie and it's based on the private collection of the correspondence and the diaries of Heinrich Himmler and his wife and his daughter and his family from 1927 until 1945. The film begins in 1900 when he was born, so for all the text before 1927 it's not part of the newly revealed collection, but we took it from archives all over the world and from research. Heinrich Himmler was for, for me a tool to tell a, a a bigger story. He's a father, he's a husband, he's a lover, he's a son. He has a, a, a school and a university behind him. He's going to, to, to make a political career. He has ambitions. Um, he's like all of us. He's an example of a normal person who, who had a, an education like most of us, a middle class, a small bourgeoisie and he made choices, and the choices he made were the worst choices possible. And this is why I believe the movie is very relevant today, and it's not about Heinrich Himmler, it's not only about Heinrich Himmler, it is using Heinrich Himmler to tell a bigger story. The cinema, the cinema language that uh, we try to use, we use in order to achieve this is to build the sound world, to give the viewer a feeling that he is at this moment and not that he's looking at it from the side. And a lot of images are in color because it's private shot footage. So it was rich family, so they were shooting even in the 30s in color. Most of the film is in black and white. So the, the images that are in color, we, we put in black and white exactly for this reason that the whole film would be in black and white, that one can have the, the, the feeling that it is happening now, not only for the cinematographic experience, but also for the, the educational or the message of the movie, that it is not something that happened and it's over and we're looking back and, you know, sad or angry. No, it is something very, very, up to date and it happened here in Europe and I believe that because it happened, it can happen again.